Okay, so what I want to do, and of course, as soon as I do this, suddenly this uh, saving project comes up. I want to go in and lay out the UVs for this character of John Oliver. Come on, for the love of God. Okay, good. Um, and what I'm going to do here, let's just solo this. And we've got naked little John Oliver, Barbie doll naked. Put on the poly frame. I'm just going to go and hit uh, Shifty, e, go down to the lowest subdivision. There we go. Okay, so we got like 7,000 polys. Okay, cool. And I'm just going to look at my fingers. Okay, okay, okay. Everything looks good. Um, after my crazy little retopology. Um, and now, what I want to do is take it to Maya. So, um, I'm just going to go in head, and you can do this a couple different ways. You could probably, in this case, just go export and take it out as an OBJ. Doing it in the lowest subdivision level. Um, I should point out before I do this that you could also go into Z plugin and you could use UV Master. There's tutorials you can find for this. Um, okay, and you can split it into groups and you can unwrap it. If I just hit unwrap and, whoop, and it thinks about it, boom, it's done in like under three seconds. And now we've got this nice little John Oliver carpet that we could put in our living rooms. Okay, but <clears throat> that's not what I want. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and hit export and I'm taking this out, John Oliver, and I'm going to go in here, OBJ, and we'll call it John Oliver UV01. Enter, and it's out. And I just realized I don't have my Maya open, so I'm going to open that up. I'm going to pause this while I... Okay, and I've got it open. Um, I'm using 2015. 2016 is a bit different, and... I'm not crazy about 2016, to be completely honest. Um, I'm going to go in here and import. Um, when I'm importing, eh, it's not the one I want. I want, uh, I was horsing around and there's uh, John Oliver there. And scenes. Okay. Um, <clears throat> when I bring in this file, I'm going to be looking for my OBJ, OBJ settings. Something to watch out for is to make sure that when you do this, you can, uh, when you're importing things, I always use a third option here for the namespaces, but also too, it's on multiple objects. Make sure it's on single object when you're bringing in OBJs. Otherwise, sometimes it'll break up your model. And then when you take it back to ZBrush, things are a little bit foobard. Okay, um, it's not as bad as it used to be, but it's still potentially there, ready to bite you in the ass. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit import. And there's my little John Oliver. Um, and if I go to Window, UV Texture Editor, okay, it's flipped the UVs vertically. I could have changed that when I brought it over. There's some kind of setting in ZBrush I could have used, but whatever, I don't care about that. What I want to do is going to put on the texture borders. Okay, it looks like he's got a funny little zip suit on. Um, and I'm going to go in here to Create UVs, and I'm going to go and hit it with the uh, Create based off a of camera. Boop. Okay, so I just sewed everything together. And then I'm going to start cutting things up. Let's cut off his head. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to grab, say, this edge loop right here. Okay, that should be nice. Or something that's just into the neckline a little bit. There, how about that one? And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to hit cut. And then let's take, say, this one, one in the middle. Go trucka 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 trucka. I'm going to go somewhere up into here. I'll cut that. And some people like to have it um, just that line there, but I also, I've noticed that I like one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I like to get it and cut just into the hairline a little bit here, and that can be hidden quite easily. Okay, and that should help the head out. Sometimes, depending upon how big your ears are, you might want to cut those off too. You might want to also consider, say, the mouth sock. I might go into the mouth a little bit inside the lip. Did that whole thing go the whole way around? I'm just going to hit 4. And I didn't double click, maybe. There we go. And I cut that too, so you get the mouth sock out of there. Okay. And his eye sockets don't go in too deep, so I might just leave those. And I'm going to leave the ears in this case here. Because um, there is going to be hair, so it's going to cover that up. Otherwise, I might chop the ears off. Okay, and then I'm going to go down here to the arms. Now, sometimes I find doing the arms and legs um, that you might want to... Uh, come on! Uh, the, why is it all of a sudden going all chuggy chuggy times? 
Here, I'm just going to go in here and take this thing, delete the history. Does that help? Okay. Um, I might go to the move tool, say, and I'm going to go down here to symmetry options. And I'm going to put on world symmetry. And now you'll see that um, when I'm going in here and I'm selecting edges to cut, I can get both sides at the same time. I'll just cut off his arms. Okay. It's like I'm pretending he's wearing like a maybe almost a wife beater shirt. Okay. Everything's getting all freaking laggy. Why? Uh, I'm just going to pause for a second. Okay, I have no clue what it is, but we'll just see if I can work through it. Um, anyway, what I'm going to do is uh, let's go in here and cut up some hand action here. I'm just going to take this and we'll go from here. Come on, you pig! Okay. Let's go from this edge over to, say, this one. And I'll cut that. Boop! Actually, is this thing... I guess you can see that. Okay, you can see what I'm doing over here. And then, um, let's see if I truck my way through the fingers. And because I built these hands myself, with my own hands, I kind of know where the seams are going to pop on this thing. Okay. And, um... I could keep the hand as, as one piece, and I could do something like I could decide to take this arm and go trucky, 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 boom, and go there. We'll see how that looks. Okay, but I've just cut up the arm. Sometimes I'll cut the hand off, and then I'll go and cut underneath the arm. Okay, put the seam there, and then let's see what the seam does here. Okay, go around his bum. Okay, cut. And actually, in this case here, let's go and double click here at the foot. Cut that off. And. Cut. And. Oh, did I miss something? That's interesting. The symmetry didn't work perfectly. Something maybe is off with my feet. I don't know. I didn't. I gotta check the, uh, the hands now. Come on! Yeah, interesting, the arm didn't go the total way through here. Uh, I'm just going to sew that together again. I'm just going to grab... Oh, you crappy bastard. Did it get the other one? It just did. Okay, maybe the symmetry isn't perfect. Why is that? I swear, well, that one works perfectly. This one here is funny. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to turn off symmetry for a second. I don't know what I did. Somewhere in here I screwed up something. Um, hmm. For this little tutorial here, we're just going to go back and I'll, I'll figure it out afterwards. I'm just going to turn the symmetry off for a moment. Actually, I guess I'm done. So if I just go and take this. And I'll cut that. <clears throat> okay, and did I get everything on the feet? Okay, and let's just take the feet here, and I'm just going to quickly zip around here. And here, cut those. And I'll cut it in the back here. cut okay and it looks like everything's done that's it I've just cut up all my UVs and so then if I just go in here and I go to UVs grab everything and I go to the unfold tool okay unfold 3d is on okay and pack we'll put it pack on and I'll hit apply Boop. and it's gonna do this <clears throat> okay it's gone in and done a pretty wonderful job of my face Okay, then maybe the mouse sock. Is that the mouse sock? What the hell is that? UVs. This is... Oh, I forgot to do the torso. Okay, we'll come back to that in a second. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, so if I go in here and I get this edge over here to this edge, and I cut it. 
and uh, maybe we'll put on symmetry. Uh, when I'm doing symmetry, where's the hotkey? Symmetry, symmetry, boop. Uh, that's just holding down W and left clicking. So I can go and grab, say, this. I don't know if these are going to work. I got the same one on the other side. Cut it. And here. I'll click here. They get the same ones on the other side. Yes. Okay, great. And let's try this again. UVs. And I'm going to hit the unfold button. Remember, if that unfold isn't on, if this thing isn't on here, that means that you have to go into the plugin manager and find the unfold 3D and make sure it's on, because sometimes it turns off when you crash. Okay, I'm just going to get rid of my history. Maybe that'll speed me up. And there's my UVs laid out for me. There's a little bit of a problem with the mouse sock. Um, so the mouse sock's in here. And we can see that the mouse sock kind of did some good. But um, let's go in here and... Uh, Come on, edge. Okay, I'm just going to cut through the middle and maybe deselect these ones. And I'll just kind of quickly cut. And, whoop. Actually, one other thing I might do here just for the show of it. If I go in, everything's lagging. Okay. Um,. When I grab this and I use the unfold, by the way, what I did was I just right clicked on it. That opens up the options for it. I'm just going to turn off pack when I unfold so it just unfolds it. There, that's much better inside the mouth. Okay, and so we got it all. Now, right now, I could decide to relay these out a little bit, because, uh, or not relay them out, but just kind of move them around and, and, and arrange them a little better. You could use this thing, the layout UVs option and put it onto world. Maybe I'll put it on free. I apply. Sometimes this will give me a nice layout like this. It always seems to tilt the head funny. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and then you can just simply go in here and grab the UVs for this to shell. Uh, and maybe uh, I've also noticed when you take this thing, if you right click on it, 45 degrees is the default, but if I put that to say 90, um, now when I do it, boop, boop, there. Okay, so that's good. Um, and anything else you want to change on here? I seem to notice that the face is the most important part. Okay, so I might have a tendency to make this bigger than the rest of it. And then I might rearrange my layout. You could do something if you wanted a 4K texture. You could do something like I might start to think in terms of quadrants here. I might try to make this into like this one... Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's a one quarter right in here. Okay, and then I can maybe fit in the mouse sock and maybe something else. And then maybe I might fit the arms in another quarter. Okay, and the legs in another quarter and the torso in another quarter. That's one way to go. Um, <clears throat> and if you want a really big texture for some reason, okay, I've noticed that 4K textures sometimes are slow when you're trying to render, right? And if you get lots of 4K textures, you're your render times like crazy. So what I might do is break it up into um, 2K textures. Now let's go here to shell and I'll bring this in. I do believe that's the mouse sock. It doesn't look like another shoe, so I'm going to bring that in. Whoop. Okay. And I could take these things and let's see what happens when I take those and I hit layout. Oh, you bastard. Um... Okay, I can just manually fit them in. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and... I think there's a way to do this, but I've forgotten what the hell it is. Boop. Okay, but <clears throat> let's go and take this. And everything's just a little bit laggy. Okay, we'll say there. you got to make sure that when you put them in that... Um, they are just in a little bit. They're perfect. Okay, just inside. You don't want them too, too close to the edge or over the edge. That's even worse when you're going back to ZBrush. And once I do this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to zip into um, uh, Edit Mesh and use Transform Components 
and I can move this over exactly one unit here in the transform component. So if I move it exactly one, that's another zero to one space. Okay. So like I said, you can keep it all like, so you have like one big 4K texture, or you can do something like this, and this will be a little bit different. Um, okay. We need this open still. That's good. And let's do something with the torso. So if I go in here and I grab some UVs here, and I grab some UVs here, to shell. What the hell's with this freaking lag? Okay, maybe it's the... Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and delete the history and see if that helps. Yeah, it looks like it might. Okay, I'll just grab these and I'll try to <coughs> fit them into the 0 to 1 area. Okay, and then I'll go back up and I'll hit my transform components, and this time I'll move it over two units. Okay, so there's torso in another zero to one area. Um, let's grab the legolas. Actually, I'm just going to pause for a second. Okay, so I was just horsing around here for a minute, and I was trying to find a quick way to move the UVs around and fit in the zero to one space a little bit better. So <clears throat> I could do something like this, and these don't have to be perfect, so I can rotator them. Okay, come on, shell. And I'll just kind of rotator that a little bit. Okay, and I can move this in closer so I waste less space. And maybe this little socky thing here. I'll move that in closer. Okay, or maybe I might find a better place for it. Like, what if I put it up here and then I just rotate it around? Okay, and then I grab, say, that one. And I pop this down here. I don't know if anyone's really even going to notice what the hell I'm doing, but whatever. Because he's, I didn't put real feet on him, I put like socky feet. He's like, I call it Barbie doll naked. I don't need to model all the toes. Unless he's wearing sandals. And let's just go and switch this. Okay. And I'm going to call that goodish right there. And then if I want to fit these into the, um, the zero to one area, uh, there's something here called normalize, and if you uh, go into the options for it, preserve aspect ratio, when you hit apply and close, it'll fit in the zero to one area. You gotta watch this one, because sometimes with the normalize, like right there, right there, it'll go right to the edge, so that's bad. What do we got, 18 minutes? Okay. Um, and so, I might have a tendency to grab the UVs again, and just scale them ever so slightly in. Away from that edge and then everything's good and then I can go back up here and transform components and I'll say this one here I do believe is three three units over and damn it all to hell I grabbed something accidentally I grabbed that just deselect that puppy oh you bastard so when I do this oh you bastard 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 okay so when I scaled that I accidentally grabbed that so let's zoom out a bit I just deselected that thing and let's scale it again in just a little bit. And then I'll go back over here to transform component and hit three. Okay, perfect. And then these ones here. Again, I could take these things and break them up, but I'm going to try the little normalize trick again. And I'll say that's good enough for now. I could break the hands off and maybe get myself a little bit better texture space. And I'm going to take these and I'll go and hit uh, transform components. And I had faces selected when I did that, so it didn't work. Um, so if I go in here and I go to UVs, and then I try it, transfer component, and that one will be four. Okay, and we're at the 19-minute 19, 19 mark, and I usually like to stop these videos around 15 minutes, so I'm going to stop at the 20 mark right here.